This this segment really picked up once you started writing things down. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, it has gotten a lot more. Despite all my rage. I swear to God, I'm not wearing a toupee, people. My hair is just, is just like this. Yeah. I look, like I look like I'm wearing a toupee. <laughs> And, so, and, and I am wearing the toupee. I have naturally right thick here. hair. I mean, look at that. I, it's luxurious. Fail bag. Ah! <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't touch me. Two questions on fail bag tonight. Oh, God, he did. Um, oh, this is disgusting. The first one... Is it okay for me to reveal, like, people's actual name? Or do no, I let's, not, let's keep it semi. Let's just use handles. Like, I, okay. want, I want to be, like, you know, sub-zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, this person may or may not have been the star of MacGyver. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. What? Uh, but he goes by Kankles on our site. Okay. I love it. Richard wow. Dean. Richard Dean. Um, wow. So, Kankles asks, what's <laughs> your favorite monster from D&D &D and why? And he actually specifically oh. said, John, you're, you, apparently you don't role play because you think you're too good, so I don't care about your opinion. John could have an opinion. No, I don't know no, that he does. I, I, the viewer is right. Yeah, yeah, because John does. John doesn't role play, therefore he should not be able to answer. No, no, I, I think if he has an answer, he should be able to answer. I just, I'm curious if he has one. Uh, well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know what your favorite monster from the Indies is. I don't know about my favorite one, but the one that like brings a smile is is something from the original A D and D monster manual called the. The bullet or the bullet, B U L L E T T E. Uh, the land shark. The land shark. Essentially, it was some magical, like you know, creation of some shark and like an armadillo. It, it's a huge. So it's this huge thing. The problem. The thing is, okay. So it looks like it looks like a bullet, like a actual like a bullet almost. But it's a huge fucking mouth and these giant fucking claws. And this this it did like uh, it has like four attacks. Each of them was for like eight to thirty two points of damage. It was like <laughs> rah, 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 like that. That's literally how it went. You had to do the rah 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 part. Um, and the thing is, like everyone would polymorph themselves into monsters to do better attacks. And so that's what you would always everybody would always just fucking polymorph themselves into a bullet because it, then they would become like a whirling dervish of death. <laughs> so that's why I like the bullet. Okay, uh, or bullet, whatever you want to call it. George? Um, I would go with the, uh, oh, fuck, the Blink, the Blink Dog? Blink Dog. <laughs> really? Hell yeah. And wow. What's a Blink Dog? Uh, blink Dog is a, is a, okay, it's like, it's, it kind of looks like a Greyhound, but a little more alien-y, and, 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 and it's got these weird oh. things that come up on its shoulders and it teleports. Oh, see, they changed it. See yeah. how now the original Blink Dog was literally a prairie dog that just teleported. The little, it was a prairie dog that like did little dimension doors. Yeah, no, this instead is of the, burrowing. They they made them nasty. Yeah, so yeah, whatever. that's that's a terrible that, that was a terrible choice, George. <laughs> I like that was cool. <laughs> see, and I might go with the original Blink Dog. It's exactly. my favorite now because um, I've always had a irrational fear of prairie dogs. <laughs> <laughs> probably based off of you know someone. Yeah, George probably like. I may be conflating well, two animals. There's there varmints. Things, so you can kill prairie dogs in Nebraska. Okay, so varmints. Did I just describe the wrong thing, people? You know better than me. I think I, think I conflated two animals, but I'm not sure what they are. I think you might have been thinking about like the thought eater. No, it's, it wasn't a thought eater. It was. It was. It, it, it specifically teleported. At, I think it was a blink dog. But yeah, it doesn't see, sound like a blink dog to me, man. And I thought it was like a joke. He was saying it, and I was going to say, "What's up, dog?" Type of thing. Oh, that, and then that's cool. Like, oh, it's an up dog, you know, but it was a blink dog, and so I didn't think I was walking into anything. No, no, no. That's an actual critter. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. all sorts of bullshit in there. So there you oh, go, Kankles. Oh, I know. I got a better one. Okay, there's a six foot tall like mouse with uh, uh, axes for hands. This will be coming out in a supplement near you soon. And a D&D &D supplement? I don't, but it's probably marketed for people who play D&D. &D. Doesn't count. Oh, damn. They're talking about D&D. &D. But if you do see a mouse with yes. axes for hands... Six hand, foot tall run. mouse run. with battle <laughs> axes for hands. Yeah, run the other way. It does not, by the way, have any attacks that utilize axes. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> uh... So that's going to be in our campaign, I'm sure. Probably. Hell <laughs> that's what I'm yeah. playing. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be that mouse. Uh, then we had someone... People need to have, like, normal names. Or or at least <laughs> fake it. <laughs> Cadlin? Cadlin? 
Cadlan. C A D L I N. Cadlan. 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 Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it's probably a name of one of his D and D characters. Yeah, probably. All right. So, what's the question? Um, name one thing that the other members of the team do well. Hmm. George is an excellent cook. He is. George is like a fantastic like cook. Like you know, he, he bakes. He bakes. Well, not tonight because he's a lazy fuck. But to, like, I was normally, informed there were going to be <laughs> cookies here. <laughs> but, but normally he like makes the the most excellent uh, cookies. Yeah. Uh, but but just about everything. I mean, I I don't think there's it, aside from the curry bomb that exploded <laughs> in the house one day. <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't technically curry that. that was chili. Oh, well, the point right, is, was just, curry I, in it? just so everyone knows. Just so everyone knows. Here's the way it works. If you take hot oil. You like get it really like smoking hot, and then you throw dry chili peppers, like those whole peppers, into the pot. It will, in fact, aerosolize into something <laughs> which it's like is a biohazard roughly weapon, roughly equivalent to pepper spray, I, I and it will coat every surface in your house almost instantly. All I remember is that we all. This is when we were all living together, and all I remember is walking into the house and like hitting a wall. Like, yeah. oh my god, my science is instantly drained. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was amazing in a god way. It, 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 I did. It's learn, like I went through the not, Do not cook. When I get home at 7 in the morning after a 13-hour shift, sure, right. sure. especially things that involve a lot of heat, because I was not paying enough attention yeah. for that. So. And, and when he told me that, I just took the do not cook part, and I've taken that to heart. So uh, that's how I just don't cook. Right. Um, so what do we say about John? John's good at math. John's John. <laughs> <laughs> he can add shit. Uh, John's like the super genius of the group. How about that? Let's go with that. See, I, I really am not comfortable with that. No, like, I I feel like this group ha- we have unique knowledge. Uh, I don't have. But a I think thing. We, I have nothing. No, we all we all <laughs> that's true. Have a whole lot of stuff that's not really useful. Okay, there's that. Um, when we pull it, we're almost a human being. <laughs> we <laughs> yeah. all have one personality between us. Yeah, there, there's a not quite a Wikipedia worth of knowledge, but sure. like a minor wiki um, that's not visible. A Wikipedia. Yeah, John John is a lot about the band Weezer. Like, a disturbing amount. Far right. too much for any one human being to have absorbed. Um, and while I'm not actually in the band, I do look a little bit like their roadie. Yep. And that actually is why I know so much, because I followed them around for... <laughs> Illegally. Like, like, like they it's were the Breaking Dead. Yeah. yeah, you really <laughs> did. It's like, how many how many concerts and how many days? Like, ten concerts in ten days? <laughs> I, I think it was just four in ten days. Cause it felt the, like ten. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was even there. <laughs> But it was well worth it, uh, because they played the same damn set list every time. Um, John's also very good at magic. (laughs) That's Uh, arguable. Again, (laughs) they have video proof, guys. I almost said that was a straight face. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Let's see, John. John. No, we we can be off me. Oh, okay. Uh, We're done with John. I think... I'm curious what you come up with for Bob. I don't think it's possible. No, I think Bob is an excellent networker. Yeah, Uh, I'll give you that. Like, he... You schmooze with the best of them, Bob. He does. You'd think he's socially awkward from everything that you've seen on Or, or repu- socially repugnant would, yeah. be the, would be the term. Physically repugnant. Uh, yes, that too. But somehow, uh, he's you know, he's a really good networker, both online and in real life. Thank he you. Well, has do, connections. Well, beyond. I mean, the, well, th- okay, think of it this way. Um, it's, not, it's because I genuinely like everything we're doing. So it's really easy for them to pick up on the fact that I'm not just some dick who's trying to get free stuff. I'm actually here to, like, make this website a reality. Whether or not that's ever going to happen, who the fuck knows? That's up to the viewers. Well, it's, that's it's up right to here. It's got to be a reality. So, um, so, yeah, I mean... Unless this is the most fantastic fever dream. I'm saying I like talking to the fans. I like talking to the people who make the games. Uh, some of which who are fans, you know, which I found out recently. So that's pretty cool. Who? Uh, I can't I can't talk about that. Damn it. But <laughs> Can you tell me later? <laughs> no. Damn. Um, but the, the point is, is that, you know, that gives us, like, access that we don't normally have. Hence the D&D free, you know, the, the, the D&D playtest invite, that sort of thing. Can't we never would have gotten any of that if you didn't... It, it's just... I wish more bloggers would do it. I wish more bloggers would just go out there and just say, just contact people, you know? Hell, you want to be on our site? If you want to do a blog for us, come just drop me a line. Yeah. It's that easy, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's, so I like to do the schmoozing part. All right, so you have ten minutes. Anything else? Uh, no. We'll, wow. we'll probably cut off five minutes of that. And... No, we won't. No, we won't, because that's it.